So previously we talked about the neutralization reaction and we said that the neutralization reaction involves an acid and a base and this reaction yields a salt plus water. Now we want to know how to obtain this salt and how to filter it and there are techniques that you guys need to know and those techniques depend whether the salt is soluble or not. So for starters, let's talk about the preparation of salts. Well, the first step, and you guys know this previously from the videos, but we're just going to go over it again. So the preparation, you take an acid. So first, take an acid and warm it up. Then add a base. then you obtain the reaction so let's so leave it to react so let's react and then use a technique then use a technique to obtain the salt so now let's talk about the technique. Well, first let's talk about filtration. So we're, we're going to talk about filtration. And there's a picture right here. I googled the picture in order to uh, help you guys understand this. So. You guys probably did this in the lab before. If you didn't do it, that's okay. The, so let's discuss this together right now. So right here, filtration is used to filter mixtures that are insoluble. For example, sand and water. So let's see how this process is done. So here you have a mixture of water and sand. You see here the water, you can see it clearly alone and the sand particles alone. So they don't mix. Now what you need for this process is a funnel. And this is the funnel. Let's label it. And inside the funnel you need filter paper. So inside the funnel you need filter paper now and you have a beaker so this is a beaker in order to get the filtrate and let's see how this process goes so you put your mixture of sand and water in here and slowly you can see the water is dripping inside so you get water like this here and the sand will stay on the filter paper. Now this is here on the third picture you see that the residue which is the sand so this is the sand and the filtrate which is the water the water is separate and the sand is separate so let's put this in steps so first get the mixture and then Pour the mixture onto the filter paper, then wait for the residue and the filtrate to form. So after you get your residue right here, there may be some water in it. So you find it like sticky and stuff. So if you want to get like the pure, pure, pure sand, you take the sand and so you get the sand right here and then you heat it in the oven. And that will make the rest of the water evaporate and voila, you have your dry sand. So let's add the step right here. So heat the residue in this case it's the sun to get dry salt 
so that's that for the filtration process and we said that filtration is used when the mixture involves an insoluble salt and that's that so let's move on to another process and it's very important you guys have to know which is the distillation process now this is distillation process now distillation involves a mixture that has a soluble salt so if you have a soluble salt for example you're having a mixture of let's see seawater so there is salt and water and salt is soluble in water so how would you get the salt and how would you get the water alone so let's see so this process involves heating the mixture so let's see together so there's a burner right here and the burner provides some heat to heat this flask now this flask contains the salt water what happens is the water evaporates and goes to the condenser so this is the condenser right here and the and the vapor goes in this tube and finally it condenses into this flask so here you have your water and the salt will stay in the initial flask so the salt will be right here so let's do this in steps to help us memorize so we said that first step get the mixture pour it in a flask then heat the flask as shown in the diagram now third step is the condenser so the condenser will condense the water into the receiving flask and the final step is the initial flask will contain the salt so that's that for distillation and filtration so in this video we talked about the preparation of uh, the salt from the neutralization reaction and uh, we said that if you want to obtain the salt we either use filtration if the salt is insoluble we and we use distillation when the salt is soluble so i hope this video uh, cleared things about those processes using the diagrams and the steps you guys have to know these by heart because the examiner is going to ask you about them so good luck and thanks for watching